Hi, everyone. Thank you for coming. Um, today, I'm going to show you two things. One is how to use saffron, and the other one is how to see the pomegranate in 40 seconds. <laughs> so, um, both pomegranate and saffron both originated in Iran. We have referenced at least 2,000 years. So, it's a very ancient uh, fruits and spices. I think we all should know about them. Never buy saffron grind, because they always add different things. They put turmeric in it. So that's what you don't want it. You want always saffron thread, and you always want to grind your saffron thread. Wrong. We use, we put saffron thread in, in, in the mortar uh, pestles, and, and then you all you use a uh, spice grinder. You can do both of them. And then um, you use a cube of sugar. The reason you put sugar in your saffron, because there's some moist in it, that sugars help to remove that moist from saffron. As uh, you said the same things about raspberry, you add a little bit of sugar in order to remove the moist from the saffron. So that's what you, the second thing you want to do, you want to grind your saffron with a cube of sugar. It can be in a spice grinder or in mortar. Uh, and then you grind your saffron with the sugar. It takes longer when you use this, but it's more uh, interesting. It, it has more flavor, I think, when you use the old ancient way of making the saffron. And um, when you grind your saffron with a cube of sugar, uh, you can uh, dilute your saffron uh, with hot water, or you can use orange blossom water or rose water. I, I brought rose water today. When you dilute your saffron with rose water, you can do it in the, your pastry. It will be heavenly. Uh, when you use uh, diluted saffron with rose water or orange blossom, or when you use water, you have to use it hot water. The proportion of saffron and liquid is very important. You are looking for an orange, deep color with a very strong aroma. You don't want a yellow color for your saffron liquid. So the proportion is very important. Uh, for example, for a half a teaspoon of saffron, grind saffron, I use about a tablespoon of orange, uh, tablespoon of orange blossom or rose water or hot water. So this is very important. And you can make your liquid and keep it in the refrigerator. Keep it in the pie, keep it in the jar like that. It should be tight because you don't want the aroma escape. And then you can keep it in the refrigerator. Please do not keep liquid saffron, um, you know, uh, in the room temperature because it spoils very easily and you, you lose the aroma and property that you're looking for. And I'm just going to put this saffron powder we, we used here in the jar. Okay, then we add rose water. This is the rose water you want. Please do not buy rose water from pharmacy when you are cooking. You want cooking rose water. So you want the rose water from Middle Eastern stores. Iranian market is all over, or any Middle Eastern stores or online, you want rose water like that, <coughs> with a large bottle. And you add a little bit rose water, and then close this. You want to close it tight, and then you shake it. Wow. Yeah. This, is the, this is the color of saffron you want. You can use <coughs> saffron in your rice, in your pastry, in, uh, in, oh yes, I have two minutes, two minutes, so I better not take more time. This is the trick for saffron. 